All right, TikTok, we've got to talk about what shadow work is and what it isn't because there's a lot of misinformation going around out there. Let's clear the record. The term shadow was coined in 1863 by Carl Jung, who was a renowned Swiss psychiatrist, and he used this word to define what he referred to as the unconscious mind. There are three levels of consciousness. We have your conscious mind, which is the stuff that you are fully aware of, the subconscious, which is the stuff just below the surface that you can recall if you try, but it's a little bit more buried, and the unconscious, which is completely hidden from your awareness. Shadow work is defined as the process of going into the unconscious mind to pull up the things that are buried and repressed to heal them and integrate them. In order to access the unconscious mind, you need to be in a theta brainwave state. This is achieved either through meditation or through hypnosis. And when you're in that state, unconscious memories pull themselves forward without you having to try all that hard. The beauty of shadow work is in the trauma-informed practice of it, where we are bringing that stuff forward to heal it in the moment, not to re-traumatize you. When you do this, you're interrupting a loop called the subconscious feedback loop where your experiences impact your emotions, which impact your physical reactions, which then impact your thoughts. And this loop creates your subconscious mind, which creates your everyday reality. It makes your thoughts, feelings, behaviors, and emotions automatic. So we need to interrupt that subconscious feedback loop and alter it in order to change the way that you perceive the world. It changes your neural pathways, which are like your brain's highway system. It changes your automatic emotional responses and it changes your physical reactions so that you're not always in that fight or flight response. Most of the things I see on TikTok that talk about shadow work are really surface level interventions that access the subconscious mind, which you can do readily on your own. And while those practices are beautiful, they're technically not shadow work. I'm the author of the upcoming book, Shadow Work, that's being released with Union Square Press on September 20th of this year. That's going to explain this practice in depth. You can pre-order your copies now and that'll give you access to a special VIP launch party that's going to be held virtually for anyone who pre-purchases their copy. But I'm happy to answer any questions you have about this practice because I want to spread more knowledge and understanding of what shadow work is and what it's not.